Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'm here today to teach you how to create a store that you can use to put in your campaign so your players can buy items and have it deduct the amount of gold, silver, or copper from their inventory and then give them the item so that you don't have to do all the manual moving around yourself. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, let me say that there are modules out there that do this, but I'm just going to show you if you want to do it yourself. So you want to make an image, first of all, to store your items on so that you can put the pins and have players be able to drag them. So I created this image and I added this text and I added the cost and then I made items and parcels and then I dragged the parcels into the image and then I got pins, but when you first drag them, they're red because uh, they are not shared. These are shared with the players, so they're green, but I'm gonna show you how you would do the items because what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the SRD and search in the SRD for something that you want to make as an item. I'm just gonna use, how about we'll use, we'll use some bagpipes. So you drag it off, drag it back on, scroll back down to bagpipes, and you'll see that this item is associated with the SRD and this item is not. So to put that item in my group, which I made a group for my own thing, now I can go down to bagpipes, grab the one that is not associated to the SRD, grab it by the shield and drag it into my store. And when I do that, you'll see the item is part of my inventory for my store. But I don't want to use bagpipes, I just wanted to show you how that works. So you get your items and then you will want to put your items in a parcel because the parcels are what you drag to the store to make the pins. So to make a parcel, you would open up your parcels with the edit screen, click the green add item, get the blank parcel, drag your item into the right hand side of the parcel give it a name, and then what you're gonna do is the amount that the item is worth, you're gonna put a negative amount so that it deducts from the player's inventory when they buy it. So that is how you make a parcel. And I'm gonna delete that extra parcel now. And I have two items left on my store that I wanna show you how I do the items. So all I do is now you've seen that I told you that you make the scimitar, you drag it into the parcel, call the parcel scimitar, put a value of minus 25, and then I'm just gonna take the shield and drag it right up to the menu and close this. I'm gonna do the same thing with the water skin and put that up here. And now I need to adjust these because they're all like off kilter and I like things. Okay, wait, I don't want the rations. I want the scimitar, please. If you hover over something, you will see when you're on the correct pin. Okay, so let me move the pin down just a little bit. Grab the water skin, do the same thing. Now you're saying, but Lady Shell, those are red. Right, when you make them, they would all be red. But what I wanna do now is I'm going to right click on the scimitar and I'm going to choose make all links shareable. Now all my links are green. So that means that the players will be able to see them. Now I have not made my items shareable, my, you know, my menu shareable with Super Shopper over there. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose sharing and then I'm going to choose share sheet. Now you see that she will be able to see it. You can tell by all these public symbols next to the items. And she can see the uh, list item image itself. There's the P. So I'm gonna close this, close this, close this. And then we're gonna take a peek from the player side to see what the player sees. Now this is my player screen and you can see the shared image is right here next to her sheet. So we're gonna go back and see what just, well, what is a super shopper? She is a fighter. She's a level three fighter actually, soldier. She's a mountain dwarf. And I rolled her stats using 46 method, drop the lowest. I ended up with 18, 15, 18, nine, 12, and eight. 
and when she chose mount uh, when she chose dwarf and then mountain dwarf she increased by two the strength and con which brought her up to 19 on both so she is a pretty powerful mountain dwarf and we are going to go to her let's see skills yeah i've already done the skills she's got on her skill on her uh, abilities tab all her things that she gets as a champion fighter she has a dwarven combat training, which gives her extra, which gives her proficiency in battle axe, hand axe, light, am, light hammer, and warhammer, which I've added down here. And I was for military rank. I chose one of the military ranks. Actually, I just rolled it, gave whatever posted whatever it said and then the other thing that I made a note of is the tool proficiency said that she could take any of the three tools either smith's tools mason's tools or brewer's supplies I chose mason's tools for her and then uh, you get to pick one type of gaming set and a land vehicle that she is proficient in so we chose the playing cards for the gaming set and a wagon for her vehicle proficiency so that is her abilities tab and then we're going to the inventory tab so now super shopper heads to the store and realizes hey i need a backpack so there happens to be a backpack on sale over here so for her to purchase this all she has to do is click on the green pin it opens up a parcel it's going to deduct two gold whoops i forgot to change this let me change this back to 300 let me change the silver back to 100 did not remember to change the totals back so it's going to deduct two gold and it's going to give her the backpack in the inventory so there we go she minus two and backpack in the inventory Close that up. She also would like to buy a long bow. So she has a ranged weapon. So she opens this up. Whoops, that's a candle. Long bow. And it's going to deduct 50 gold. We drag that into our inventory. Dragged in it, uh, deducted 50 gold. And she wants some arrows to go with it. So she opens that up. It's going to deduct one gold. So now she has some arrows. She needs a quiver to put her arrows in. So this is going to deduct another gold. And she's hungry. <laughs> she doesn't have any food in her inventory. So I keep dragging rations. There we go, rations. One day of rations is worth five silver. She wants five days worth. So we're going to drag the shield over five times. Okay, and now she has five days of rations. And a, she also needs a water skin. She doesn't have any water skin. And I dragged the scimitar. There we go. Water skin. This is going to deduct two silver. Okay. So she has all of her things. And she's done at the store. So we'll close this. And I want to go to her actions tab. Because I want to set up her consumables. Now that she has her water skin and her rations. And we need to set up her longbow with 20 arrows. And we need to... These are all on once. Okay, for rations, we got her five rations, so we're going to put five here. I am in preparation mode, which is how you would set this. Water skin, she has one. We type one here. All of these need to say once. They're one use. And then when you click over to combat and actions, you will have the bubbles representing how many pitons, rations, torches, and water skin you have in your inventory. Also, you see that I dragged over her uh, Dwarven Resilience by clicking on the little man and it puts it into her, under her name on the combat tracker. So that is how you would make a store where your characters can, your players, <laughs> characters, players, same thing, right? Can interact with it and not make the DM have to worry about how much to deduct, how much they want, etc. So uh, I hope this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions or have any comments please leave them in the comments below and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye!